welcome by the Arcade Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of February. And it's, uh, yeah, we're already there. This month is almost over. We have a few uh, days, of course, but... So yeah, I thought that it's time. It's time to do the blooming up update. Otherwise it will uh, be too late again. <laughs> But uh, uh, luckily I'm in time, so let's uh, let's uh, have a look. I have quite some blooms for you to, to show. So, uh, and I'm starting with this one. This is uh, a beautiful one, I think. This bloom is misshaped. So we, we have some um, sepals there that we are missing. But here you can see. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm just looking for the best one. There it is. It's a very nice bloom. I, li I really like the, in the purple lip and I have a tag for this one. So if you want to look it up, there is the name. So that's the first one. And above these, this one, we have these two guys. Beautiful puffy petalums. On the right, the yellow one is the Pinocchio Alba. And this one is something white, white lady. That is this one. Beautiful, very, very large. You can see the difference in size of the blooms. But yeah, these uh, like the bloom and maybe you recognize this bloom, but this is a new one. So I had it in bloom before, but that was on this old spike. It opened up a new one. And this probably did as well. As you can see, this is uh, uh, blooms uh, sequentially. And so it does make new buds and blooms. I think you call it like that. I'm not completely sure. I'm sorry. But you can see the buds are already on the way. So those are D. <laughs> Let's get over here. Where I have this Quindenberg with this huge spike all the way coming from here. That's this one. Still in bloom but the colors are starting to fade so she had her longest time here as you can see we have some um, blooms that are already going over but these guys the last ones to open up are still uh, pretty nice i think next to it i have it's this spike which is also going over this is a d catalante on sidium catalante let me check quickly this is the uh, Colmenara, I'm sorry, Catenante Pacific Sunspots. And this is how it looks when the blooms are all going over. But here we have luckily some fresh ones on a second spike. And these are beautiful. Fairly long spikes, but they can grow even way bigger actually. Dub maybe double in size and have more branches going on. But this is a fairly young plant. This is the plant itself, so it's not that big yet. Then we have this no idea, no idea, I'm sorry. And it has beautiful blooms. Quite a, quite a, a nice show. We have two spikes here, opened. But yeah, I think these are very beautiful, very red rusty colors on them and then look at this beauty we have one spike here we have one spike there that is a branch and then we have a new spike here a lot of roots so this one is uh, really enjoying her life peperata sunset oncidium oncidopsis i'm sorry i think it's now yeah i have it here as an oncidium i'm sorry oncidium Pipikea sunset, I said uh, Purpurana, I think. Sorry. Pipikea sunset, and I think it's now an Ansidopsis. And I have this one for quite some years in my uh, collection. But beautiful blooms. And I had to stake these guys because the spikes are not that thick. It can, can grow thicker spikes, but I don't know why. It didn't do that because we have a, quite a lot of roots, but anyhow, had a lot of blooms, so they were very heavy and I missed them. So they were a bit bended when they uh, just started growing. So maybe therefore they are a bit weaker. I'm not sure. And then we have this over here. It's strange, sloppy spike. It's not strong at all. And then. <laughs> On the end we have some bloom, so I'm not sure what is in there. This is a no idea, but 
Yeah. I, I don't know what kind of parents are in here, but this one, it, it is beautiful. I really like the blooms, but such a strange spike. And a few blooms, not that even that much, but yeah, they're beautiful. Let me let it hang again. There we go. <laughs> then next to it, it's just opened up today. It's not yesterday opened up. Look at this. What a beauty. Also, no idea, but beautiful orange. I'm so happy that I bought this one. From Landsbergen, these last two guys. The Orchid Nursery here in the Netherlands. Then up here I have also a no idea in bloom. This one was really uh, having the aphids on it. And it's sadly going over already a bit, but maybe because I needed to spray it so much. But these, maybe this one shows better. Beautiful colors on there, but yeah, sadly the aphids did keep coming back on this one. So yeah, it's very dirty, sadly. But nonetheless, beautiful uh, warm color blooms, I think. Red and orange and a bit of yellow. So yeah, very beautiful. And down here I have this one in bloom. It's from the Incas, and I think they stay s still sell it, at least here in the Netherlands. Autumn Falls, what is this? Uh, Blossom Falls, I'm sorry, oops, I'm sorry. I was checking the tag. Blossom Falls, commercial name, but still, you can find it under that name, I think. If you would like to look it up, then finally, you guys, my Pragmapidium is blooming look at this let me check it. Uh, there we go if i can see what yeah what a beautiful bloom isn't it let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the details in the bloom better absolutely beautiful and this one can most of the times I've been told this one has about three blooms on one spike. So that's uh, beautiful. This is the side view of it. Yeah, and I l really like these. I know there's a name for it, but I cannot remember. On top of my head, but this one is very beautiful. And someone recognized this one and gave me the ID. That, that person has this one as well and it's yeah i think it's uh it is this one pragmapedia memoria hands we say hans glow so let's put it in there but i looked it up and it's actually the same so and he has the same one same plant from the same seller and so i think he's right these are about to go over as you can see but still we have these guys to look nice i think so those are over here and as you can see my ludicias are done are almost done blooming as well and so i can give them a tidy up pretty soon <laughs> and they need it let me check in meanwhile do we have more blooms here no let's get over to this area where i have this one in bloom this is absolutely one of my favorites i'm going to sit down so i can Give you a better look at these beautiful blooms i absolutely love these colors and the shape of the blooms that very nice burgundy red with a yellow almost a bit of orange in there in the center very very beautiful i'm not completely sure i bought this one as a no idea but i think i found the name for it not everybody agrees with it <laughs> last video and that's about one or two years ago but i if you look it up i think it's this one the amethyst gem Cryptonopsis. so there should be some uh miltoniopsis in 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 it and i think that's why the shape of the blooms i think i'm not completely sure but this starts to fade it's just open up and then the yellow is a very uh, noticeable but it will get more 
wider. So you will find, if you look it up, you will find those blooms where they're a little bit paler uh, than this one. But when they are fairly fresh, they, the yellow is very, uh, very noticeable, like I said. And then they start to fade. So, and that does the amethyst gem as well. So I think it, it is this one. It is pretty similar. If you would like to buy something uh, similar, then we have this Masdevelia. Some blooms are over already. I'm not sure if you can see it quite well because of the... Let me check. It looks in my screen a little bit overexposed. <laughs> I'm not sure, but beautiful yellow one. With some yellow tips on the leaves, I'm not sure. I try to do better with my as the values, but so far not completely as it should I know but that's for another video <laughs> then we have this odontoglossum Alkmaar it started to bloom again we see this quite often on my channel this one really likes to bloom grows pretty pretty fast so if you like these red blooms you, and you don't like to wait too long <laughs> You might want to buy this one. This is the, uh, like I said, Auto, uh, Odontoglossum Altmar. Then we have this beautiful Zygo, still in bloom. With three blooms, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's a cross with a Zygo. Let me show you the tag. Propetalum, Golden Bay. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, I thought it wasn't open yet, but you can see there, that is my, uh, it's also a psycho, come on. Very common one. I need to check the tag. I cannot remember the name on top of my head, but it's, oh, it, it's just opened a bloom. Yesterday it wasn't there yet, not open. So let me, I'm gonna uh, turn this around just one second. <laughs> So, and there we are again. <laughs> they didn't uh, want to work with one hand. But here she is. Luisendorf, of course. Luisendorf. Just freshly opened up, as you can see. Three more buds to come. But look at those colors on the, in the lip and in, in the center of the bloom. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, uh, this is my personal favorite. From the Psychos. Beautiful Lewisendorf. So yeah, that was just in time for this video. <laughs> Let me get over here another no ID. Here that is starting to drop the blooms, but it still has a beautiful bloom here. Sadly, no name, like I said. But then we have a name for this one. It's the uh, Princess Diana. Miltoniopsis, Princess Diana. We have quite some blooms, as you can see. This is my biggest Miltonia, and still I did, didn't see those getting stuck in between the leaves, sadly. But yeah, it really, really likes to bloom. Beautiful. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. There's quite a size to it already. Here's the tag. Yeah, Princess Diana. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. This one is fairly easy to grow, I believe. It likes to grow. So yeah, if you try uh, Miltoniopsis, you might want to start with a Princess Diana. These hybrids uh, really like to grow. And of course, it's still not Miltoniopsis, but this one isn't as fussy. It's more forgiving. A little bit more than the rest, I think. And then look at this. We have another one. Absolutely beautiful. Those spikes. I, yeah, these are my favorites. If you didn't know already, but uh, you can see there in the background, we have another spike coming. But yeah, these are so beautiful. And the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. White Summer Angel Heart is this one. Um, here we go. So, yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 
And there are more coming. Whoops. That was my fan here. We have more buttons to come. But that is for a, a later video. Let me quickly check. No, I don't think that I did forget something here. So let's get over to the greenhouse. Let me close this door a little bit. And we're starting with this, with the epidendrums. This one is still in bloom. And as you can see, we have quite some buds to come. It's a very nice one. And in the background, we have more buds on those growths. This is my oldest one, Epidendrum. It's called yellow, but I think it's more of an orange. But if you compare it to this one, there in the background, this one is a really, really orange, a lighter color. And you just saw it already, but here we have a beautiful Telumnia. And we had a discussion last time it bloomed, but I think it's Tequilia something. Telumnia Tequilia. I didn't change the name tag. I did change it in my notes, but yeah, beautiful. And you know, another spike is coming. <laughs> More blooms. Absolutely beautiful. So bright. Such a beautiful colors. And then we have this one. And this one has still that one and only bloom here <laughs> in Maka spots. But nonetheless, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is, it was an epidendrum. It's now an encyclia. Claire, Claire in a hot something. Claire, yeah, I can't remember the name on top of my head, but if you really want to know, please let me know. I will, can give you the name in the comment section, of course, but two beautiful spikes. But as you can see, there is some discoloration going on started. So these blooms are not long here anymore, I think. And then there in that corner, we have some more blooms. Look at these guys. Beautiful. It's a wrinkle stylus. You probably noticed. And this is the red one, just called red. And I see a hair on the blooms. <laughs> for my dog but anyhow <laughs> so yeah that is the wrinkle stylus then we have here got whoops sorry the gutters still in bloom three spikes finally up and we have more like i said i will do a separate video on them but i'm just showing a few newbies here like this one look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful Shustuartiana, something like that. You can see the name in the background there. <laughs> and then this one just opened up. This one you see also more often on the channels. <laughs> the growers, the bronze maiden. So yeah, and I understand why it's beautiful. This one is also, look, the colors almost start to pop they're beautiful so bright this one this is absolutely one of my favorites it's these, those colors the beautiful yellow and white together absolutely amazing and it has a name <laughs> Ixing beaming sun so yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful let me put a tag back then this no id started to open up this is a keiki and a mother, <laughs> but a keiki was first with the opening up the blooms. Beautiful little blooms. This was a gift. What, back in the days, I have this for a very, very long time. And I did mistreat it, of course, when I tried to put it in self-watering. But she is happy again. We did find the way how to grow them in self-watering. They have, it has roots everywhere now, but I think Two times I nearly lost all the, the, all the roots. So yeah, that's why this one probably didn't bloom for four years, something like that. Because I uh, give it a, a very rough time. <laughs> then down here, we have this, uh, they also are together in one basket, this little married couple. <laughs> and I put them together because the, 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 not really the shape, but the size of the blooms. This is the mini mark, are, are very similar. And this one has a bit of orange and the other one as well. 
But you can see I have a very long spike on a mini mark with a branch and a teeny tiny spike there. And it had a third one, but it stopped growing that one. I think it decided to put all the energy in here. And this is the Japan Cupid. Let me check quickly. Yes, Japan Cupid. Also I named a one and very beautiful. Just opening up. Beautiful orange yellowy type blooms. So yeah, this is my little merry couple here. <laughs> and then up here, look at this. Not sure, I don't think my camera is getting the colors very very well. Let me put some shade on it because it's brighter, it's even darker. And it said, I'm not sure because sometimes it does look a little bit different on screen than uh, here on my, the screen of my camera. But anyhow, this one also is uh, one that really pops. The colors are so bright, beautiful pink. Yeah, let me, uh, this, this looks better. Beautiful pink background here on the, on these petals and the yellow in the lip, the contrast between those two colors. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It really stands out, it really pops as you can see. Well, I hope you can see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, this one does that, the beautiful pink one and this yellow one. I think this is more obvious, but both of them are really, those are the first you see when you st uh, uh, yeah, step in the greenhouse because of those very bright colors. And we have quite a few more up there. And look at this, this one is also back in bloom. Took me also years to get it back. I will do a better close up uh, in the near future. But the same story as the little pink one. I really needed to learn to how to grow them in a self watering setup. And yeah, those were the first one to try. So they made it, but oi oi oi, they needed to come from uh, far away. And <laughs> yeah, that means that they uh, lost a lot of energy root system because of my doing so I felt very bad for them but I think I uh, did made it up we did find a way and they are looking very happy nowadays luckily and this Maya has these spotted blooms as you can see all over here Las Vegas is in the back there and then we have quite a few more but like I said, I will do a, a close-up of those uh, in another video. And uh, yeah, <laughs> a sort of elephant in the room. <laughs> Ancelia Africana. It is starting to open up her blooms. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure if you saw one of the last videos where I did showcase this one. I think it's my uh, blooms, buds and shards, the last one. And five spikes, you guys, it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, all of them, this one is all, all of them starting to open up some blooms. But yeah, it takes up so much space now. And I did took it uh, out of that corner because I wasn't sure if those spikes were continue to grow. And I think they do a little bit further. So, and it was very close to the, uh, to the uh, plastic. So I didn't want them to, uh, lose the butts of course so I put it here but yeah it's it's very large I think it's happy if I look at the root system which is going everywhere <laughs> so yeah and then in the back the other one but that doesn't have balloons yet you can see there and that one is not touching it look may look like it but it's not touching the plastic and while we're here this beauty is still beautiful I don't see any sign of her thinking about dropping the blooms. This is the Santa Barbara Showtime. Absolutely beautiful. We got trinormous long, long spike. Where are we? Here we are. <laughs> there is the plant. Then we have this one. I'm curious if you remembered. I said this one is a bit of a color changer. Well, look at this. It started uh, more pinky color and it's really <laughs> start to yellowing up there's a little hint of orange in there but it's more yellow and look at that lip it is stunning 
I like this one so much. It does remind me of the Francis Fox because of the lip. I'm not sure if they have anything to do with one another. Don't think so, but but this one is beautiful. This is the Golden Tang. Whoops. Golden Tang. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Golden Tang HR. There's a leaf in the way. I uh, don't want to bend leaves too much. Yeah. H and R. There you go. So quickly a name. Whoops. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And next to it, also a beauty, is a crush with the Rene Marquez. And it's a crush with uh, Free Spirits. Rene Marquez with Free Spirit. Rene Marquez <laughs> crush with uh, something. Free spirit, it's got layer type. I cannot find a tag, and otherwise, it will take a little bit too long if I show every single tag. Sadly, one is all going over already, but this is the golden elf. Look at how beautiful she is! So many blooms. This one has, and it's not that old yet, it's a very young plant, so yeah. For this size, I think this is quite quite an amount of blooms on these two spikes and the fragrance is fantastic. This one uh, is overpowering. No, not overpowering for me, but it's through the through the out the whole greenhouse. I smell this one. A very beautiful, sweet fragrance. I don't mind it at all. And in the orchid room, I have the Miltoniopsis, who are very noticeable, fragrant-wise. So yeah, this is beautiful. I, uh, two of my, uh, I think two of my, of my most favorite fragrances of the orchids are uh, currently uh, blooming the plants. So I have these beautiful uh, fragrances around me, which is, uh, like I said, wonderful. Very pathetic bloom here. <laughs> Poor thing. Aphid. Got to it. This is the golden peacock. Yes. Well, yeah. The lip is gone. <laughs> But she will come back. It's a very strong plan, but it's, it's, yeah, it's doing her thing. <laughs> then we have this beauty, still in bloom. Absolutely wonderful. This is the uh, Barrasso Can Can Catante Jarek Firestar. Which, like I said, is still in bloom. Let me check quickly. Oh, I almost forgot this beauty. Look at this. How can I forget? I am sorry. <laughs> oh, this is such a beautiful bloom again. I keep saying this, but it is true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a tag, but I can hardly reach it. So let me know if you really want to know the names. I'm happy to give it to you guys. No problem. And of course, I keep forgetting. Uh, I do forget more. In the back here, let me zoom in because this Anshelia Africana is a little bit in the way. But look at this one. So beautiful. Uh, Encyclia Coardi something. No, I shouldn't try to remember the names. I'm sorry. It's the Alba version. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I know the background. It's a little bit dirty there. I will uh, will clean it up. Spring clean is uh, coming. <laughs> but anyhow, beautiful blooms. And then I have this. Oops, and said, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I tried to find a way to film it. But like I said, I have an elephant in the room. And then I have roots. But look at these beautiful blooms. Here we are. Black hornet or something, is it? It's a black hornet, I think it is. And it has another beautiful spike there. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, and a lot of roots in a way. <laughs> so it's a bit crowdy here, makes it a bit difficult to film, but I will change it uh, in the near future because I need to uh, change a lot over here. This big plant has a new home, so that's going, and we need to, to do some uh, work on the house, so the blooms have to go, the family offices. A whole other different, uh, whole other, <laughs> whole different uh, video, but yeah, I will change it so I can reach everything a bit better. But that's for uh, another video. 
Let me uh, check here. I have my Berioda still in bloom. Beautiful blooms. And then we have this Nobly over here. Comet King, I believe it is. And this blooms on almost three canes. Another cane there. New cane here as well. And then we have still this one in bloom. Look at how many blooms this one has. Apollon, something Apollon. Absolutely beautiful. A wonderful fragrance as well. But it's not that strong, so my golden elf wins. <laughs> but this fragrance is very sweet as well. A dendrobium phenoliopsis. Beautiful. Then we have this beautiful dendrobium with the alien type blooms. Three spikes still. Going fairly strong, if I, uh, yeah, still beautiful. Spectable. Then draw it spectable, crossed with Marco Film, something like that. And then we have this beautiful pink one. Then draw it finally up. So I see one bloom going, but this one uh, was in bloom for quite a while. And I do get tangled up here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, up here, we still have some blooms. But these plants are growing too big, <laughs> so they are tossing the roof. Yeah, my camera is making it a little bit darker, but yeah, beautiful. And then we have over here, still a few blooms on this one. It's now going over. This one is for the, in bloom for the longest time. This one wins every single year. Sadly, no name for it, but this one, it blooms and it's, it's blooming for months for months, easily. Yeah, a few. That one's there. We have still one bloom here in the background. And then on this green one, this one is going over as well. But still some blooms. And then this one likes to bloom as well. But it's not that long in bloom. This is the Thailand black. black. And you can see some are going over. But these blooms are beautiful. I love the color on this one. Sometimes in the middle of the bloom, it's almost like it's black over there. And look at the contrast with this orange one. Is that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Very, very bright colors on this brushia type orchid. Mariana Sander. And then I think we are getting there now. But I, like I said, I always forget. I have still this one in bloom. This is the Orange Delight, Brushia Orange Delight. And it did give me, I think, about eight spikes this year, something like that. It's quite a lot. And they are around for, uh, I think, about two months, one and a half, two months per spike, something like that. I, I think I never write it down when they start blooming, so I'm not sure completely, but for quite a while at least, at least. And let me check, 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 check. Oh yeah, of course. I think this is going to be the last one, but he's still in bloom. Absolutely beautiful. Maxillaria. There's the name tag. And I know there are quite a few out of there, out uh, out there, I should say. Some looms are starting to get over, as we can see. But uh, yeah, what I was trying to say is, uh, I must admit, I, I, this is one of my favorites. And I didn't know it back in the days. So I just wanted to grow a maxillaria. And I thought, well, yellow, I like the yellow. I, bu I buy these guys. But now if I compare this one to other ones, yeah, it's just a personal taste, of course. But this one is a really, really one of my favorites. So I'm just lucky. I had no idea basically what I was buying back in the days. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it for this one quickly. Yeah, for now, as you can see, we have quite some updates to do in the near future on the fails. And I will do that 
in a separate video, so I can really take the time. I personally love my Phenoleopsis, but some growers or some viewers a little less. So therefore, and you can see we have quite some blooms, so to go over them all takes me so much time. And I thought, you know what? These guys get their own uh, separate uh, video. Oh, you see, I forget. Symbidiums. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. This one is also so beautiful. With three spikes. This is a uh, miniature type Symbidium. And I have this one in bloom. In one of the new ones we did a repot on. I have a video. If I don't forget, I will put it up. But they uh, decided to bloom. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Not not very long spikes. That's because I uh, did uh, interrupt it while it was blooming, or starting to make the spikes, I should say. As the, did this one. But you can see it also is making new growths, and those are making new roots. And therefore, I did a repot, even though I sacrificed a better blooming. That's okay. That will come later. I first would like to settle them in a new system. So therefore, I choose to do that. Uh, but uh, all of them had new. Uh, growth on the way. So, uh, but uh, that's said and done. I think that's very important. And now I really think I didn't miss any uh, other uh, orchids blooming currently, but you never know. Anyhow, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I think if I look at the numbers of the viewers and the watch hours, etc., you really enjoy these uh, blooming updates. And I really enjoy making them because, yeah, this is basically where we, before we grow these orchids, of course. Oh, you guys. I did miss this one, <laughs> Rene Marquez. So yeah, basically that's why uh, why uh, why we grow them, of course. So I'm really happy to make these uh, these type of videos. So yeah, that's very uh, very nice to do. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to know a name or something about an orchid that you just saw, please let me know in the comments below. I'm uh, happy to answer uh, all your questions about the orchids. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't already have, please consider subscribing to my channel. And yes, I noticed we are almost there at the 1K subscribers at this moment. And I will uh, make another video about that, that as well. But there's some good stuff coming on this uh, channel. I promise you guys, we're going to celebrate pretty soon, I hope. <laughs> and for now, I just hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.